gut girl. Always great having you here, Nicole. Thanks. Thank you for having me. All right, so we're going to talk about bread. And there's so many angles with bread, and I think you specifically are going to talk about sprouted bread. But um, my wife is making bread now, so we know it's all organic. And I think you're going to, we talked a little bit about, hey, if you're going shopping for bread, what kind of bread to get. And I used to go for the low carb bread, kind of the keto bread. I don't do that now. I'm going for more healthy bread. I don't care if it has more carbohydrates in it. Usually it has more fiber. But what do you have to say about it? So the bread that I use, I, I am like your wife. I do my own sourdough. But if I'm out or I'm, um, or, you know, buying bread for my kids, that kind of stuff, I also really like a sprouted bread because its nutritional profile um, is more readily available to digestion because it has been, it is made out of wheat that has been sprouted. I also, this is crazy, people think I'm nuts. I also do, um, I put my nuts in water and soak them overnight. It's the same exact principle. I'm getting all the oxidative stress out of it and then eating them without it. That's the same concept as sprouted bread. You are opening up that actual sprout and making the bread out of it. Um, it contains all of the nine essential amino acids. So it's a really good, if you're not getting the enriched from a white bread or a wheat bread that has been completely commercialized, um, they're not breaking down all of the profile of the nutrients and then putting it back in. That's not what you want. Whenever you see a bread that says enriched, it's been completely processed out of all the nutrients. It's interesting you say that. Sprouted bread, all the nine essential amino acids. Now, it's not going to have enough leucine to activate anything, but we were talking about this before we turned this on. I take some leucine and some branch chain amino acids and some essential amino acids. Why not add to it and get that those numbers up high enough to where your body is going to use it and put it together? So, oh, it, absolutely. Yeah, interesting on that. So um, I know it's kind of a rabbit trail, but I take amino acids with every meal pretty much uh, protein meals for sure and we were yeah. also saying if you're vegan that's even more of a reason to be pounding the amino acids so oh, yeah, for sure um, the bread uh, yeah, and my wife is making sourdough bread also and we talked about a brand like I like um, Dave's killer bread and I you yeah. read the label it's like organic 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 one little negative thing is there is some seed oils in their hamburger buns. Um, but, you know, I don't like to give up my hamburger bun, you know, with my hamburger. Um, yeah. And, um, you know, you can have just half a bun. Right, right. And, and I really do. I like Dave's Killer Bread, too, because it is all organic. And it does, you know, when you have an organic in there, it's a much different processing. Plus, I really, really love Ezekiel's sprouted bread. It is lower on the glycemic index. It is a, it is a, everything in it is organic. So, and most of the time you can find that in the freezer section. So you can't go wrong with that. And I do believe Ezekiel makes buns too. Yeah, I also use that brand. I like that brand and I probably have some, I'm sure we have some in the freezer. You know, yeah. so yeah, yeah, excellent brand. And, you know, like you said earlier, I'm, I'm kind of going more for the health as opposed to getting rid of all the carbs because yeah, it might have less carbs, but it's got some poison in there too. And look, you and I are just freaks about what we put in our mouth, right? <laughs> yes, we are. I get, I get really picked on for this, but I will not put a seed oil in my mouth. So I just don't do it. And I'm, so I go for you know, the cleanest ingredients possible. I am like you. I will sacrifice a carb versus, or a, a seed oil versus a carb any day of the week. Yeah. And, you know, when you go out, it's like you got to watch the condiments because oh, that's gosh, where yeah. the poison <laughs> is. Don't yep. get you going, right? Oh, yeah. Don't, please don't get me going on that one. <laughs> yeah. 
So there you go, everybody. I mean, you can eat bread. I mean, I don't eat the carbs. And still, when I'm eating bread, I'm, I'm still like my wife makes this wonderful bread that is just spectacular. And then like gluten doesn't bother me. And so that would be the only negative about what she's making or what's in some of these good breads is the gluten, right? Because that really bothers right. somebody. And look, even though I don't notice gluten, that doesn't mean it's good for me. Right, right, absolutely. So it's not perfect, but... Um, but it's the lesser of the evil. So get the clean and the sprouted rather than the crap or the low carb where there's a ton. Of, look at your ingredients. This kind of is the moral of the whole thing is... Look at what you're putting in your body and make sure it's organic so that it doesn't have a ton of glyphosate either. Right. Because that stuff is in everything. Oh, yeah. If it's not organic, it's there. Okay. So, Nicole, you are a nutritionist, obviously. And yeah. you help people lose weight, figure out what's wrong with their hormones, their, um, their gut. And, if you know, we talk about th these people that we talk a lot about people who are overweight and they, they are not eating anything. Something's wrong, right? That's what Nicole yeah, helps you figure out. What is wrong? Look, if you're eating 1,200, 1,500 calories and you're not losing weight or even gaining weight, something's wrong. Wouldn't you say it's probably hormone or gut or both? Absolutely, or both. And, and that can be looked at and blood work can be looked at. I review blood work and see if you have bacteria in the gut. There's many other testings available too. There's a GI map, there's oat testing for candida. There's all sorts of things we can do to figure out what is happening in your body. Okay, so if you guys wanna find out more about Nicole and you wanna learn more about what services she provides, how can they get a hold of you, Nicole? They can send an email to thegutgirl1 at gmail.com and I will give $100 off um, the initial consult with, with anyone who says they learned this from this, any of these videos, really. Yeah. Anytime you see the video, just say, I saw you. So, yes. <laughs> all right. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me.